All right, so let's start with uh, section 3.9, the inverse uh, trig function. Uh, for this section here, guys, um, I will not go through too much uh, uh, problems and examples, okay? And uh, uh, what I, I got to do is to just to show you one um, example, and then, um, you know, uh, if you are very interested in how to take the derivative of let's see the uh, cosine inverse you know cosine inverse tan inverse secant inverse cosecant inverse and then your mother will come to uh, read the book and also if you have any questions from there and then we can we can discuss okay um, okay so let's get started here so first of all guys uh, this is a uh, pre setup so uh, I let y equal sine of x and also set my domain which is from negative pi to uh, uh, negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Uh, I exclude the two endpoints, okay? And then correspondingly, uh, y is going to become, uh, belongs to negative 1 to 1. As you can see here, this is, uh, you know, set up, okay? This is set up. And sine of x is a periodic function, right? And the range is from negative 1 to 1. Here, okay. And uh, correspondingly, you know, if I take the derivative of this sine of x, we know it's cosine of x. And uh, uh, as you can see that on the same domain here, the y prime cosine of x is uh, positive, okay? So this is kind of like a pretty, pretty setup. And also, guys, uh, uh, you can tell that under this domain here and uh, my function it is a one-to-one -one function right because you you would be a horizontal line test and uh, you can tell it is a one-to-one -one. hence it's gonna have an inverse okay and uh, let's think of the inverse as uh, you know sine inverse or arcsine arcsine and uh, you know this is the same notation here and uh, the graph is going to be like this okay so remember for the function and its inverse the domain becomes range range becomes domain right so as you can see that the domain for the inverse function is from negative one to one and the range is from negative pi over two to pi over two okay so those are the percent and this is basically the graph for this uh, uh, sine inverse or arc sine, okay? And um, how do we do that? Well, the code uh, concept is to use the uh, derivative rule for inverse function, okay? That's the code. And we know that the derivative of f inverse equals the reciprocal of the derivative, right? Divided at its as f inverse. So we're gonna use this to, to figure it out, okay? And uh, you know, we want to know what is sine of inverse the derivative equals the reciprocal of the derivative of the original function. Um, you know, the original function fx is equal to sine of x, and the derivative is cosine of x. Uh, evaluated at sine of inverse of x, okay? So this from here, from here uh, up to this step, this is a direct application of our derivative rule of inverse functions. The next step it needs a little bit uh, uh, extra force. First of all, there is one uh, identity which is sine square x plus cosine square x equals one, right? And uh, so for here, guys, since cosine of sine of inverse of x as we talked about under the described domain the corresponding cosine of x is always positive okay it's always positive so from here to here this is what we use cosine square of sine inverse x plus sine square of sine inverse x actually it equals one okay equal equals one so since cosine of sine inverse is positive, we can solve that as 
of you know so y minus sine square of the sine inverse right and then put a square root there to give us the cosine of uh, sine inverse of x again since it is a positive coordinate it is a positive square root so this is what we get so substitute that and the next part is you have sine square and then of sine of inverse. And sine of sine of inverse, which is a function and it's inverse. And then if you write it here, it's gonna give you x too. Okay, so this part, uh, it's gonna become into x then square. Hence, mission complete. The derivative of sine of inverse or the derivative of arc sine it equals one over square root of one minus x squared right so uh, you know if this is the first time you see this result it might be very surprised right so the, the derivative of a, a sine inverse does not involve with uh, any uh, like tree uh, functions involved, which uh, surprisingly is like y over the square root of one minus x squared. Okay, so uh, I hope this can give you uh, a, a brief idea about how um, do we handle uh, the derivative of uh, this uh, 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 trig inverse. Okay, it's all starting from here. Okay, and of course each uh, uh, trig inverse. The, uh, the way to drive a many different trig identities or properties, okay? Um, but this is the starting point, okay? So I'll stop here, and then I hope you can get a big picture of where, uh, where this is from, and then uh, we'll move forward with section uh, 3.10, okay? So I'll see you in the next class. Bye.